So in order to fully understand the mandrel spacing design, it is important we discuss first a bit more the gas lift system. So here we have three different schematics I want to present. So on this one on the left part of the slides, what I'm showing is the pressure profile inside of a well when I keep the same injection depths and I increase the gas lift rates. So what's going to happen is that if I increase the gas lift rates, the pressure profile in the well is going to move from this one over there with the blue pressure profile on the top when the gas lift rate is the lowest to this pressure profile on the left over there in purple where the gas lift rate is the highest. And so with the same depth of injection as I increase the gas lift rate, what's happening is that the gas to liquid ratio that I have in blue there is going to be the lowest one. And so it's going to be lower than the one in green, the one in orange and the one in purple. And as I increase this gas to liquid ratio, the liquid rate of the well increases as well. So actually this is true up to a certain gas lift rate. So this is true if I am not over injecting gas lifts. Now if I start to over inject gas lifts, my gas to liquid ratio will get higher than the G LR number four, and it could become too high so that the pressure profile starts to move back to the right, and basically my liquid rate starts to decrease back. So, this is in case I am over injecting. In that case, the extra amounts of gas lifts that I inject creates more pressure losses than lifting effects. But if you are not over injecting, just keep in mind that keeping the injection depth constant, the the more gas lift I inject, the higher the drawdown I am able to apply on my formation, on my reservoir, and hence the higher the liquid rate I will be able to produce. Now on this second schematic, what we can see is that if I have a constant liquid rate, so hence I'm starting from the bottom hole flowing pressure for which I have the drawdown corresponding to the liquid rates considered on that drink, I start from them using the natural GLR and basically with this constant liquid rate, the deeper I inject my gas lift, the lower the amount of gas lift I need to inject. So to produce the same amount, I can either inject a smaller amount of gas lifts to get the pressure profile that we see in blue there, corresponding to the GLR number one, or I can inject my gas lift to a shallower point, as we can see in purple there. And as I inject through a shallower point, I will need to have a much higher GLR in this portion of the tubing so that I am able to produce the same amount of liquid. So for that to be possible, I will need to inject much more gas lift across this shallower mandrel. So that's the second thing to remember. At constant liquid rates, the deeper I inject my gas lifts, the lower the amount of gas lifts I need to inject. And the last thing I want to show on these slides is on this right schematic there. What I want to show is that if I inject the same amount of gas lift, but in one case across a deep mandrel in my well, in that case, I will have this pressure profile that we see there. That gives me a bigger drawdown, while if I inject the same amount of gas lift across a shallower mandrel there, I will have a lower liquid rate. I won't be able to apply a drawdown as large as if I inject deeper, and so I will follow this pressure profile there. So because my liquid rate is lower, the gas liquid ratio number two that I have in this portion of the tubing will be higher than the gas liquid ratio that I will have in blue there in this portion of the tubing. So this is because there I have the same amount of gas lift injected across that mandrel, but a lower liquid rate compared to the amount of gas lift injected there. But because my well produce more, the GLR is lower. So that's what is indicated there. In this case, the GLR number one is lower than GLR number two, while the liquid rate number two is lower than the liquid rate number one. So these are things you need to be very clear with regarding gas lifts. At 
constant depth of injection, the higher the gas lift rates, the higher the liquid rates, provided that you are not over-injecting gas lift. At a constant liquid rate, the deeper you inject the gas lift, the less amount you need to inject. And at a constant gas lift rate, the deeper you inject your gas lift, the higher the liquid rate will be.